The thing I love most about drag is you have this opportunity to inspire so many people to be themselves. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Carey and you might know me as the musical artist or Fifi O'Hara, the drag entertainer. It wasn't until I was out of high school that I was able to find basically my village and um, come out and be myself. I grew up in San Antonio, Texas and I came out when I was around 15, 16 and I remember it so, so vividly. I was in the car with my mom on the way to school and I just started crying because I knew that there was this secret that I've been holding on forever and I wanted to share it with the person that meant the most to me and I was so afraid I might let her down and I told her, you know, mom, I'm gay and I like boys, just full on tears. And the first thing she said to me was, okay, and? <laughs> it was the best reaction I could have ever asked for and I'm so grateful and lucky to have her. Growing up in Texas wasn't the easiest um, when I was younger to come out of the closet. I even had a girlfriend forever and ever and I didn't have a big group of friends that knew that I was, you know, an out proud homosexual on the inside, but I knew I was and I, I knew I needed to find my own family. Now I'm super happy when I go back to San Antonio and see how far they moved along and how accepting they are and how amazing it is to be who you are in Texas and I hope that just continues to get better. When I was 18 years old, my mom took me to the club on my birthday. She's like, let's go out and party and it turns out it was a gay club. I was like, oh, good one, mom. Uh, she took me to the gay club club and said get on that box and dance and I was like what and she was like hey I want to introduce you to my friend her name's Beyonce <laughs> and in comes a seven foot tall glamazonian woman of a drag queen and to be honest with you I was quite scared I was like what is that <laughs> little did I know Beyonce was the nicest most supportive person and she really helped me put my foot in the door and get into drag I've always been an entertainer. I always love being in front of people on the stage, whether it's singing, dancing, acting, whatever it is. And going to the gay clubs and seeing these female impersonators, these drag queens, these female illusionists get on stage and just bring this character to life and entertain people, make them happy and give them joy, really turned me on to the fact that like I could do this. I could totally be myself and bring all my art that I have to the table and celebrate being an entertainer with everybody else. My drag name now is Fifi O'Hara, but it actually used to be Phoenix O'Hara. And the way I got it is I'm a huge comic book nerd and I love Phoenix from the X-Men. And like many people, my childhood wasn't the best. I grew up in an abusive family and I was able to rise from all that. And just like Phoenix from X-Men, she risen from the ashes and became the strong, powerful person. The thing I love most about drag is, I'll be honest, it used to be money. I love making money, who doesn't? But being on Drag Race and, and being able to travel the world and, and meet so many people, you have this opportunity to inspire so many people to be themselves and accept themselves. And it's okay to just go out there and put some makeup on, put a dress on, as long as you feel happy and you're smiling at the end of the day. Screw what everybody else thinks. When I first started drag, Jeremy and Fifi were completely two different people. And Jeremy was really shy and timid, and then you have Fifi who just commanded attention. And now, as I've toured so much and really been able to perfect my character, they've kind of all meshed into one person. And I think that's a great thing because I kind of took stuff from Fifi, and I think Fifi took stuff from Jeremy, so it made this one powerful being. And I think that's the ultimate reward is being able to be the most powerful you. The thing that makes me most proud is being able to say I did everything on my own. I wasn't afraid to listen to the tiny voices in my head or the many people around me that sat there and said, you'll never be anything. You'll never make it out there in the world. Um, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I just shut them out and I said, I, I can and I will and I did it. I'm Fifi O'Hara and I am proud.